Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's always her. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we got another blooper. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another episode of the Aesthetic Agenda here in the home of the, what am I saying? I don't know. I don't know. Whose home is this? Where is we can't talk today. Yeah, here in the lovely Rediscover Aesthetic Studio. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. How, how are y'all doing? Fantastic, since I got my immunity IV infusion yesterday. Yeah, so for, get mine. for the lovely people that are seeing us right now, you can notice that Amber and I are hooked up to a little bit of a device. You can notice here in my arm. Um, we're, we're trying out our own supply here. We're doing a little IV therapy. Amber wasn't feeling too well yesterday. Oh, since last Friday. It's been pretty bad. So she got the funk, yeah. and now we're trying to get her over the funk. And I, for one, can't just, you know, pass up a good chance at another IV. So here I am. Yours is for energy. Energy Yours and focus. for this weekend with the kids. God bless me. Mm. <laughs> So my lovely wife, Catherine, say hello. Hello. Catherine's leaving me on Friday. Maybe for good. She might hey, not come back. She ain't leaving me, that's for sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you might have to go with her. Mm, no, I, I just know she's coming back. I might escape to Scottsdale indefinitely. And she might stay there. I I'm, think that's where I'm going. I don't I'm, even know. I'm dying to play golf in Scottsdale. <laughs> I thought you said Phoenix. I fly into Phoenix. Is oh. Scottsdale by Phoenix? I don't know. I don't pretty know. close. Mm. Yeah, then we're going to Scottsdale. It's pretty darn close. Yeah. Cool. See, I'm jealous because even in Arizona, it's an arid desert, but they have two of my most favorite things. They have golf and they have good hockey. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's talk about this IV stuff that we're talking, that we're getting here. Um, Amber, what you hooked up to? I'm hooked up to the immunity bag, one of the three that we offer. So I'll tell you what, I haven't personally gotten the immunity bag yet, but we've given it to two of our patients in the last couple of three? days. Three. And I personally witnessed my wife getting one. And I mean, when I tell you she looked like she had a foot in the grave yesterday, <laughs> she looked ill. I felt ill. She yeah. looked ill. She's not a very nice person when she's ill. She was very nice. What are you talking nice? about? <laughs> I, okay. Y'all, don't even, nice. don't even just from y'all's experience. I just can't I mean. contribute anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you know when she's, she's sick, when she doesn't answer her phone or anything to do with. No, no. And work. this woman was not. I doing... haven't done laundry. I haven't done dishes. <laughs> but she's watched a lot of Netflix now. Well, what else am I going to do? Your girl's got her Netflix down. I think she watched like three seasons of. Uh... Supergirl. That's what I'm on right now. Supergirl. Okay. I'm glad you're watching something in actual English. And here I was desperate to just get her better. So she didn't leave me stranded at work by myself <laughs> anymore. Right. Yeah. Ouch. Sorry. You weren't with me yesterday either. I know. I had to leave and pick up my daughter because she's sick too. Well, I kind of made you leave. I was like, go. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> anyway, this immunity IV, not only does it help with dehydration when, when you get sick, your increased metabolism, so you're burning more fluids, um, which a lot of your symptoms are derived from that, but it's also stacked with vitamins. Mm -hmm. B vitamins, vitamin C, and zinc. Yep. And I'll tell you what, man. I mean, you wouldn't have known you were sick. No. You woke up this morning, and I remember rolling over, and I'm looking at you. I'm like, how you feeling? And you got the smile, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yep. hell yeah, you're back. I know one of our old, um, patients told me that that was the best medicine you could have got. You know, Right? So. And he has a high-demand job, and yeah. sure enough, he popped right back. So that's probably what made him, you know, jump back quickly. So I love it. Yeah, so it makes you, it helps protect you against any bacteria, viruses that are coming, but also helps you recover faster if you're already sick, like I was. I am a big fan. Yeah. I love it. So Arden, tell us about your IV. I don't know what's in my IV. <laughs> you ask for get up and go. I can't even see the label. Get up and go is yours. So get up and go has another mix of blend of vitamins and minerals. Amino that's going acids. to Amino acids. Mm -hmm. help you regain a little bit of focus. It's going to help boost your energy levels a little bit. Um, and just, just by getting the fluids in and of itself, it's going to help you feel better. Um, more focused and more concentrated, your brain's able to work a little bit better. Yeah, it's more of a recovery IV, um, kind of get you back on track. Yeah. So after a good workout or, mm -hmm. you know, really just, just fatigued all week and just need a little boost, that's the best one to go to. Now, a cool stat is that over 80% of Americans are chronically dehydrated. I do, yeah. Um, I, I talk about this a lot with my patients. I'm saying, you know, if you want your aesthetic results to look better, drink more water. And not only just water, 
but electrolyte rich water. So a lot of people can get in trouble when they start to pound fluids and they don't replenish the electrolytes too. Um, you can start getting chemical imbalances, sodium imbalances. It's called hyponatremia. Um, if someone's ever pounded a bunch of water after working out and they got a bad headache or whatnot, um, that could be from a, a, a sodium deficiency. Um, Which can cause like, you know, confusion, you know. It's bad. I mean, it, it kills bad. people yeah. like when you're, when you're, when you're not doing it right. So, <laughs> um, electrolyte rich fluids are very important too. So my rule of thumb is, you know, if you're sitting in an air conditioned box all day and you're not working out, you probably need at least a hundred ounces of water just to maintain a good level of hydration. Yeah. People don't realize how much like just a bag of fluids will make you feel like you just really don't understand how much you're run down Yep. until you get that bag of fluid and you're like, Oh my gosh, like I feel like a whole new person. And it's a hundred percent absorption because it's yes. going right, right yes. to your veins. Correct, correct. Whereas so, I think like if you take vitamins, it's only like what twenty percent of like the whole Something bottle. Like it's not Man, even nothing, is it? Yeah, yeah, if you're lucky. I mean, the <laughs> the acid in your stomach can can break down a nail. Yeah. So, just imagine some of those little capsules. Um, our our lab director that we use, he's very famous for saying that he has the most expensive urine on planet Earth <laughs> because he takes a lot of these oral supplements and your your body just destroys them in, in the stomach. So I don't see how he does that because I can I can barely stand to take three vitamins in the morning. I'm telling so. you. So get your IVs, people. I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. So we're gonna let this run for a little bit and you know, replenish all of the stuff that we've lost. And uh, what else are we talking about today, ladies? I hear we have an action-packed show talking about some uh, semi-glutide myths. Semi-glutide weight loss, yes. And it, it kind of runs together with this because, you know, it's important to drink all your water with semi-glutide and get your fluids in and help with you know, nausea and all that good stuff. So, so we're going to go over a bunch of things with semi-glutide that, frankly, just really piss me off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am so tired of opening social media and seeing all the negative press and all the negative bashing on this stuff. Um, semiglutide is an incredibly safe medication. Um, it's derived on technology that's been around for decades. And if people would just do the right thing, we wouldn't have any problems with this stuff. So what do we have? We have a list of, uh, y'all, y'all printed something out. We're going to talk about some stuff. What are we uh, talking yeah, about? I mean, we can wing it. And it's not false. I had a patient it. come in the other day who literally, she was interested in the semiglutide. And she was like, do y'all sell that false stuff? And I'm like, you mean the compounded stuff? It's false not stuff? false. Like, <laughs> it works. Obviously, if it didn't work, you wouldn't be in here, like, asking me for it or asking for information about so it. So you got that false stuff? The <laughs> false stuff? you got that false, that fake stuff. It was fake right. stuff, but oh, still. that's funny. Um, and I was like, no, ma'am, we have the compounded stuff, but it's uh, absolutely real, 100% <laughs> real, um, and have great results from it. So, I mean, hey. People yeah. are ridiculous, man. I was like, people got that stuff. Yeah, we sell the fel- we say the fake stuff, you know the no fake branded, stuff here. Yeah, know. no fake stuff here. When nah. I think of fake stuff, now listen, there are people in this industry that sell fake stuff. Oh yeah, 100%. there are people yes. in this industry. You don't like, know what they sell. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let me let me give you all a little tip out there. If you're listening or watching out there, if you see a special for Botox. That's five dollars a unit. Don't run, <laughs> run in the opposite direction. The stuff's not real. So you can add you can add semiglutide to that. Yeah, we've run specials. We've run one special around Christmas time where we did ninety nine dollars for the first month, which, when you compare it to the retail price of Ozempic or Wegovy or anything like that, shoot, I've seen some pharmacies charge twelve fourteen hundred dollars for a month supply of that stuff. Yep, um, which is outright. I mean, it's robbery. It's absolute robbery. Well, that's but, what the pharmaceutical companies are charging if it's correct. not covered by your insurance. Correct. Because they're, how they're yeah. thinking they can get away with it. By, you know, right. well, if you're going to be willing to pay that much from the pharmaceuticals, why can't I charge that? So, right. I mean, so if you, if I was a lay person and I saw CVS charging twelve hundred bucks for this, and then I saw Rediscover Aesthetics charging ninety nine dollars for the first month, I could get a little questionable. Yeah, I could see that, but then once you realize what's really going on here like you can see you can see the plan now all that to be said if they're offering it for an insanely low price for an insanely long period of time you got a question i'll tell you exactly where i get my stuff i'll show you the receipts our stuff is made from a legitimate compounding pharmacy it goes through more regulatory uh uh updates and monitoring than 
any of the big pharmaceutical companies. That's for darn sure. Um, and so I feel comfortable giving it to my patients. Um, what do y'all have to add to that? I'll say that I'm, I won't lie. I'm going to be a hundred percent transparent here. Um, when I first heard about the semaglutide, I had kind of, when I was in clinicals, finishing my last rotation, I was with a provider who didn't prescribe it the way it should be. And so I was kind of like uh -oh. ruined on it. Um, I really did think it was the, you know, people like, oh, this, they're cheating their way to, you know, weight mm -hmm. loss. Like, mm -hmm. man, that's not fair. Like, why can't they just lose weight? Like, why can't they just go work out and diet like normal people? Like, that's not fair. That's a lot of the hate that I see on. Yeah. Yes. On and that, I mean, it bugs me now. It really does when people are like, oh, that's cheating. That's not. Well, and I'm like, no, now that I know more about it, I'm educated on it. And I know the benefits of it, the risk. Like, now I know when it's done the proper way, um, you know, it has very good effects. Like, there are some people, like, especially learning more about the hormones of people, too. Um, some people just can't lose weight with, right. you know, a diet and exercise. We have one right now who literally came to me in tears and was like, I work out six days a week. I run triathlons and Ironmans, and I look at food and I gain weight. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, well, let's let's try it. Like, that's the people that should be on it, and I just... You know, like people that need to lose weight for a wedding in two weeks or, you know, whatever they want. Yeah, that's I'm not OK with that. But it's, those are the people that end up in the hospital. From yes, this stuff. they're not using it correctly. They're just getting it because they can, you know, like they think, oh, you know, I just need to lose this for a cruise or, you know, wedding and all that stuff. And I'm like, that's the people that, you know, really got under my skin with it. And I got a bad vibe from it at first. Mm -hmm. But now it's like one of my favorite things, because like when you can help these people that truly are doing everything they can and are being accountable for, you know, working out and changing their lifestyle factors, it, it really does have a good effect on them. I mean, like, you know, and seeing them happy and seeing them healthy is what matters. So. So. <laughs> semiglutide, I, I mentioned earlier that it's based on technology that's been around a long time. Semiglutide is from a family of medications called peptides. And it's hard to really call peptides medications even, right? Because they mimic what's naturally occurring in the body, right? So peptides are single chain amino acids and they replicate something that's already naturally occurring um, in the human system. There are hundreds, if not thousands of different peptides that are, that are out and available and on the market. Some are used, some are not. Um, <laughs> the, I think semiglutide's getting a lot of, a lot of heat because most people in the general public didn't know what peptides were before a year ago. I didn't know for sure. Um, but if you have, you know, the letters and names like BPC-157 and TB-500 and you hear about Samorolin and Ipramorolin and all of these are peptides that have been around for decades. And we have really good evidence to support their, their efficacy. And they're incredibly safe because they mimic yeah. something that happens exactly. in real life. Um, the problem is, is just like what you talked about amber when you start getting greedy and you start getting using it incorrectly and yeah you want to go from zero to 100, 100 yeah that's when people get in trouble that would happen with anything that would happen with tylenol like have i'm have you seen tylenol toxicity like mm -hmm. that awful. that is you know what's even fun. worse is getting that uh antidote for it yeah Blech. it's awful like <laughs> smells awful what um cat, these vitamins cat give me your sense I want to hear what you got to say. My sense. Um, yeah, I mean, I did, we did some glutide together last year. Sure did. And it was amazing. So I just had, you know, it's good for that mom that has that stubborn baby weight that won't come off um, no matter what you do. Um, and so that was me. So I took it and I lost about 35-ish pounds over a few months. Um, what I like about it is that, well, it suppresses your appetite, but it takes the emotion out of eating. Yes. Um, so, you know, we all know we're all, we're all, we, we live in the South too. So everything is about food. Do we? So especially right we're now, we're always thinking about our next meal. Okay. What are we going to eat? When can we eat again? Okay. What snack do I want? Oh, I'm bored. Let me just eat. You know, I was never really in a, well, I guess I am an emotional eater. I'm a bored eater. I don't eat when I'm like sad or happy, but if I'm bored, 
I'll eat. Um, I don't know, I guess just to do something with my hands. And then, but when I was on the semaglutide, like I didn't, it cuts down your my, my yeah. every thought wasn't about food and it took the cravings away too. So, you know, if we were going to, I don't know, Keith Young Steakhouse or whatever, like I love steak, but I wasn't, I was excited to go and I enjoyed my steak, but I don't know, about five bites in, I'm like, okay, well, I'm satisfied. I'm full. You know, I, I don't need to keep eating more. And before it was like, oh, this is so good. I just need to keep eating because it's so delicious. And then you're over full. Yeah. I feel like it helps really a lot with portion control. And yeah. That's a hard thing to do down here in the yeah. South. And, and my big thing was portion control. I could eat like two and a half portions of something before. Right. And then this, when I was on the semaglutide, it was, you know, I'd eat half of a meal and be completely satisfied and be okay stopping. And then I'd save the rest for later. So that brings me to my point with uh, how we do our consults. Because one I of the love big our consults. Oh yeah. One of the big myths that we see with semiglutide is well, I'm just gonna gain all the weight back when I stop. Yep. Well, yeah, you might. <laughs> but what other diet what diet do you know? that exists, that you're not going to gain weight if you stop doing said diet? None. What's so complicated about that? Why is that even a myth? Why is that even a thing? Well, and, you know, the more I've been reading about it and researching, if, just say your norm is 200 pounds, just say your baseline weight is 200 pounds, and you've been that for years and years, you get on semaglutide and you lose 30 pounds, so you're at what? 170 now that's correct so you stop it well now you know you your brain now doesn't have the semaglutide and it starts you know kicking back in well your brain is going back to trying to feed a 200 pound body not a 170 pound body so yeah you're probably gonna you know end up gaining some weight back but you that's why you have to train yourself before that and implement lifestyle changes because your body you don't want to sustain at 200. Now you want to sustain at 170, but that's not what your body's been used to the last five. Because you years. think that you can't, you can't survive on just like half right. of a meal or half of a steak, you know, cause that's not what you, mm-hmm. you're hungrier when. Right. I'm going to partially disagree with you. And I'm going to say that, um, your body's not trying to feed a 200 pound person when you're 170 pounds. It's not how it works, but what does happen. Um, and this is, an absolute fact. Um, the foods in America today, in today's world, are designed to make you addicted to them. Mm-hmm. They are, unless it's completely authentic, raw, natural food um, that God created, the food is designed to make you hooked to it. It's worse than heroin. It's a drug. So if you don't create the mindset while you're on semiglutide to say, hey, I can live on a third of what I normally eat or, Hey, I'm going to make these food choices and be happy and content with them. Then you're going to end up right back where you started. I think that's mm-hmm. what she was trying to say. Honestly, yeah. I got, I got her. I was on that same page. <laughs> Thank you. I, yeah. I mean, Amber always understands what I'm trying to say. I mean, cause she explained exactly kind of how I would have explained it. You know, I'm sorry. We don't have the scientific explanations <laughs> behind it, but we talk real world. Yeah. Is that what it it. is? In real world words. Like that kindergarten language. (laughs) You you talk in that scientific, with those scientific words. It's afternoon time. We got to chill with that. Some people can't follow that. We were able to add just now. That is a plus for us. I mean, (laughs) you're right. Subtract one of the two. (laughs) One of the two, right? Okay, so that was my using the word mindset is too big a word after two p.m. I, yeah, I think we said the same thing in two different ways. She did, exactly. I got that. <laughs> Since I'm in the middle of mediating here, I got that is exactly what she was. Gonna doing. give Amber a gavel. I'm, I'm right. kind of scared. I really don't know why I chose that right here. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, and then another thing. Oh, tell us another thing. You've always said this over the years. Um, He'll just tell you in a different way. Hold on. He Hold will. On. I'm sure. <laughs> Food. You're supposed to eat to correct me if i'm wrong he will eat to live not live to eat there you go okay so with the semi before we all live to eat 
I mean, Correct. we're from Louisiana. Yeah, we love, we love our crawfish, and, yeah. our, and it is king cake it's season. King cake season, and, I'm, and that's my woo, that's, that's, that's my that's my weak point right I have there. Had two pieces of king cake. I in don't like twenty four hours. I can go <laughs> I'm not without tell sweets y'all. my whole life, but put a king cake me in front too. of me, I will devour it. Not not grocery store king cake. Oh though. no, it has to be like the New Orleans Dong Dong or or, or Mandeville Bake Shop. But anyways, okay. Cocoa bean, yeah. So before you live to eat, now with the semaglutide. You're just eating to live, which is kind of what I said earlier about taking the emotion out of eating. Yep. You're just eating to live, which is how it's supposed to be. And I feel like that's sustainable even after you get off of semiglutide, which is my ultimate goal. Like, do I think semiglutide is safe to stay on for a long time? Yeah. Yeah, yes. I do. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll watch the studies 10 years from Not now. Not at the high no, no. dosing, but you wean yourself down. Look, there's going to be diabetics that are on two and a half milligrams for the well, rest yes. of their life. Diabetics, yes. But for people just for weight loss, like like us, we don't need one plus milligram for the rest of our lives. But I, I think you wean, I your, there. you wean yourself down to a dose that you can sustain, that you can sustain your weight. habits yeah. mm-hmm. and keep your cravings down and yep. maintain your weight. And so, like, I've been off of the semaglutide for a year now. Every now and then I'll give myself a little booster. It's not consistent, though. Um, right. We all know I'm bad with consistency. <laughs> But I Boy-ish. think I've only gained like five pounds back over the course of a year. Yeah. And you're really not, I mean, I'm going to call you out. You're really not watching your, what you eat. Like you're eating. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say that too. Like people that are on this drug, I mean, not drug, less than said. Okay. Well, Medication. <laughs> Let me get this right. Or people take this out of context. Um, the haters coming out. You can't just. Take it and eat Taco Bell every day of no. my life. I'm sorry. Or McDonald's and expect to lose And weight. I don't do that. No. Um, I know some mm, yep. few, few that do. Mm, okay. So um, it is not a miracle drug. It is a, you know, addition to we'll your supplement. lifestyle changes. Like it's not, you know. I, I will say this too. We This is a way that we differ from, say, our competitors or mm-hmm. colleagues that, that are offering medical weight loss like semiglutide. We are going to bring you in, and we're going to do a consult in our office. And it's an hour long. We're thorough with it. And we talk about all of these mindset things, and we talk about We give you a weight loss journal. We tell you to document your food. We do all this stuff. But we're also going to give you your shots every week. Most most people don't. Most people are giving you your, your syringes and walking you out the door. See you later. Good luck. And we're taking personal accountability with you walking you through this journey every week. Now, maybe you get to the point where you graduate and you don't need to do it every week. We could talk about that. That's fine. We could bring you, you know, we, then we can send you we home with some stuff. a lot of tools in our toolbox to... Yeah, but we're going to keep you personally accountable for this. We're going to make sure that you're not only... You're going to lose the weight no matter what. I mean, you can go home and eat Oreos and Taco Bell and you're going to lose weight. Yeah, but I'm not dosing I'm not dosing you up that week, that's for sure. Sorry. No, and... and because I know what you did. And that person will end up right back where they started Mm -hmm. three months after they got off because they're not changing their mindset. And y'all know me. I don't hold back. So my people are on. Mm -hmm. Right. You crack the whip on them. I've seen it. I've seen it. Look, most of my most successful people are, I mean, hey, they're going great. They're losing pants sizes left and right. But I mean, I'll tell you you straight up exactly what we expect from you. Um, not, Not everybody's the same. Um, you may lose four pounds in the first week, but don't think that's going to happen every week. I, um, I tell my patients like, you know, one to three pounds yeah. per mm-hmm. week. A few people that I started out though are like four to six in that first week. And I'm oh, like, yeah. whoa, 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 hold on. Like, <laughs> don't get too excited here. Right. But just know as we go on. But I don't dose them up unless I know that they're like being accountable for, you know, working out. But if you want to just keep going up and you're not working out, you're not changing anything about it. Nope. We don't. Start over from ground zero again. I mean, why should I move you up when or give you a pass when you're not doing anything to help yourself out too? So, Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I'll say this too. Um, another thing that we do with our semiglutide patients that's different than our other um, colleagues, and I think this is one of our best assets, really, if you think about it. Our facility is inside a gigantic beautiful fitness center. I was just about to say that. We're in Franco's. So we're in a health club. This health club has every single modality and Mm -hmm. and exercise program that you can possibly conceive. And so what I've started to do this year, which 
it's a shame that I haven't been doing this all along, but look, I'm, I'm catching up to myself. <laughs> um, getting there. Every consult I'm doing, I'm walking them down to the personal trainer's desk. I'm be like, Hey, sign this person up. Let's get them on a resistance training program because another myth about semi-glutide is that, Oh, I don't need to work out. Oh, loney. Mm-hmm. You need to work out. Um, this stuff will make you lose weight, but it also will, if you're, if you don't, if you don't pay attention to this, it'll start to demineralize some of your, your bone density. It'll take away some of your bone density. It'll take away some of your muscle tissue. So if that's you're, a clarify. That's with any weight loss medication, medication or diet mm-hmm. where you lose weight that fast. It's Correct. not the semaglutide doing that. It's Correct. the rapid weight loss doing that. Right. And sedentaryism as a whole, right? Yeah. If you're not, if you're not working out, if you lose, if you, what is it? If you don't use it, you lose it. Right. What? Somebody's phone vibrating or something? It's mine. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's okay. <laughs> I'll I'm have like, to cut this I out. Am I here the ice cream man or something? Like, I'm I forgot y'all don't have headphones on. Oh. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> like what happened here? I thought I put my phone on. Whatever. Um, if you don't use it, you lose it. So you have to do resistance training. I don't mm-hmm. care. I, I tell my patients this every day. If you, I don't care if it's push-ups by your bedside or if it's a formal personal training program. If you need the accountability, we got you, right? Let's get you a Franco's membership. Let's get you a personal training deck and, and get rolling. Yep. They have personal trainers. Um, you can work out on your own, and they have really awesome group classes too. Yeah. And that's another thing too, like while we're on this subject, like I tell a lot of my patients, don't get fixated on like the pounds, the numbers, just like mm-hmm. anything with vitals, anything like that. When you get fixated on that, muscle weighs more than fat. If you're working out, you're doing the resistance training, you're going to gain muscle. Your pounds aren't going to go, you know, skyrocketing down or, you know, you're not going to lose a lot more than you think. But you're losing the pant size. Yep. Mm-hmm. You're, you're losing the inches. You're losing – you can see a difference. Yeah. And you're going to start feeling better, Yeah, too. just because you can't see it on the scale, well, mm. oh, well. The That's scale fine. is a very Mind. poor yeah. tool. It's not a good tool to dictate weight loss. Um, Terrible for your mental health. <laughs> Can be. <laughs> but, but I'm glad you brought that up because, yes, it's not it's not a good weight loss tool, but it's the only one we have. Yeah. And it's an objective measurement. Yeah. It's an objective tool that you can use every single day. So when we're, when we're doing that consult, I tell that to my patient. Look, get over the fear of the scale. Get mm-hmm. over it. Like, that's why I'm weighing them every day. Or I'm telling them to weigh themselves every day and write it down. Just get used to it. Forget about the number. I don't care what the number says. Um, because it's like you said, we're going to measure this in how your pants fit. We're going to measure this in how you feel. Exactly. I, that's my biggest thing is I'm like, how do you feel overall? Are you more, you know, are you tired still? Are you, you know, you have more energy? Like, and that's another thing too. We do give the B12 shot with it. So, yep. you know, that really helps and kind of makes us. Yeah. It helps curb symptoms and gives you a little energy. Yeah. Um, I've Let's, heard a lot of people say semaglutide makes you more fatigued than so normal. So that yeah, makes I mean, sense yeah. because you're eating a lot less and yeah. food gives you energy. So you need to remember to eat and eat, you know, high protein, like good calories to fuel your body or else, yeah, you're going to be fatigued because you're eating about a third of what you normally eat. I'll talk about diet in a second, but um, one more thing about the scale. Um, it's It goes back to that mindset. Um, you're doing something that makes you uncomfortable. Um but by doing it every day, you make it less uncomfortable mm-hmm. and you get more used to it. Um, one thing that a scale is good for is that it measures trends. So, you know, a pound or two here and there, I don't care. Um, in fact, I'll tell my patients often that if I weigh myself in the morning and I weigh myself in the evening, I might have gained eight pounds. Yeah. Right. Well, that's why when too, like when we, they come in, I'm like, okay, what did your scale say this morning? And I'll chart that mm-hmm. because if, as long as they're seeing a trend going down, like, who cares what my scale says? Yep. I mean, Every yes, scale's everybody's different. scale's different, and calibrate's different. And so, like, as long as they're seeing, you know, decrease in their scale and stuff like that, that's, you know, I chart both. So, yep. so pro tip for you out there, uh, if you're on this stuff, weigh yourself every day, but do it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Do it in the same kind of format, right? So if you're just getting out of the shower and you're in your birthday suit, like, do it naked. If you're wearing shoes, wear shoes every time, like. Yeah. Do it the same every time and eliminate all those extra variables. That way you can get a decent representation of where you're at. And then just watch the trends, right? So if your weight's gone up three pounds over the course of a week or two weeks or three weeks, 
that's when the scale becomes relevant. Otherwise, I don't care. Yeah, I'm the same way. Diet. Ooh, diet. <laughs> I, I could sit here and, and make 10 podcasts about diet alone because there's so much garbage out there. There's, yeah. I mean, literal garbage in, in the food, but there's also garbage dietary uh, recommendations, right? I'm just not very good at commitment. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, and... and Except I mean, to my chicken tenders. I'm sorry. <laughs> no let's call that our Southern heritage as well, right? Um, let's just face it. We're, we're fat and happy down here. Um, Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few pounds to lose, but I will, I will say this. Um, as a medical practitioner, I was given, I don't know about your schooling, I was given maybe five hours of, of dedicated nutritional education. Have you met a nurse? We're like the most unhealthiest people ever. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get nutrition in um, nursing school. Well, and I wouldn't even call. I'm just lucky to stay alive, okay? That's it. That's it. I wouldn't even call the education that I got in PA school good. Adderall diet? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what I lived on. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Kind of. I, I, I don't think... I don't think any medical professional gets quality, sound dietary counseling or education uh -uh. during their sh schooling. So it's up to them, really, to take it upon themselves. Yeah, yeah to, to educate themselves on. And then, well, where do you turn? Where do you get the education that's actually relevant and good knowledge? Because there's so much crap out there. Um, yeah, I didn't know what ketosis meant for like the longest time. Nice. I'm not gonna lie. Nice. I really <laughs> care enough to. Uh, so here's, here's what I, I say all of that to say this, when I'm consulting a patient on diet, I'm like, look, you're going to have to do some research on your own. You're going to have to look into this a little bit because why would you just take my word for it? Right. I, I mean, I got the white coat and I've, I've done some training and I got some letters behind my name. Yeah. But you and I have about this, the exact same amount of dietary education. So what I will say is whether you agree with being a vegan or a carnivore or anything in between, inflammation is the root cause of all evil. Mm -hmm. Inflammation leads to chronic disease. Inflammation leads to cancer. In in inflammation leads to a bigger waistline. Bad skin. All yep. of the things, right? <laughs> Poor cognition. Um, I mean, thyroid issues, hormone issues, you name it. It all starts with inflammation. Well, Arden, what causes inflammation? Everything. Diet. All the crap food that you eat, yeah. right? So if you're eating food that's going to spike blood sugar, which is, you know, simple carbohydrates or um, stuff that's processed or, you know, in a box or a can, has preservatives, has food colors, um, it's going to develop inflammation. So whatever you decide to eat, eat the cleanest, most holistic version of that. If it has an ingredient in it with a word you can't pronounce, then avoid it. <laughs> if it comes in a box or a can, avoid it. If it has more than a gram or two of sugar in it, avoid it. Meh. And even then, <laughs> I, I mean, look, I get it. it. It's it's hard to do. I mean, I try to it's limit. It's all about balance, too. I yeah. mean, no one's going to be perfect, but, no, and yeah. And it's not about perfection, but. If we're, trying to, to you if, you can. if we're trying to develop a mindset here, yeah, yeah. I mean, ideally you're getting under 10 mindful. grams of sugar every day. Yeah. Um, go ahead and try to find something in the gas station with under 10 grams of sugar, right? Unless it's a bottle of water, that's really hard to do. Yeah. So you just have to be mindful of that. And it's like you said, we're going to have times where you're going to have a piece of birthday cake or you're going to have some king cake. Yeah. Don't deprive yourself. Then, then you're just binging. I mean, then you'll just literally, you know, go back. Right. And right. De deprivation yeah. will lead you back to that legalism attitude will lead you back to a, a yo-yo type you want what you situation. can't have type thing you know yeah but go ahead and have that piece but cut Moderation. it a third of the size of you nor of yeah. what you normally would or just have two bites and then put it down mm -hmm. whatever soapbox sorry <laughs> all right so That's we talked about we talked about fatigue as a side effect let's talk about nausea mm. gi yeah, I can't talk about this so much because I didn't have any of it. So oh, I don't know the little I lost month I was on it. I was definitely <laughs> wanting to give up. Yeah. So everyone is different. Um, my personal experience with it was I never threw up, but 
I would just be queasy. Yeah. Like all like week. Un- unsettled. Yeah. Um, That's a fun word. Queasy. Queasy. And like your, like my blood sugar was low, which yeah. makes sense. Exactly. But that's kind of how I felt. Um, So I could function through it. It was a queasiness. Mm-hmm. I could at least function through. Um, But, and that was at a very small dose too. I can't tolerate even like a mid dose. Wait, semi- no, Arden. Mm-mm. Can we tell them the story? No. So, <laughs> no, I want to hear it now. No. We need to tell them the story. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, 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 let wait, me no. finish. Let okay. me finish my thoughts so we don't Go get ahead. off on tangents. Finish your thought. Um. So, but some people might experience heartburn, indigestion. Ooh, that was a bad one for me. Constipation, diarrhea. Um. I mean, all, all across the board, and there's really no rhyme or reason to what you're gonna feel. Um. I haven't seen a trend. Yeah, I, I no, haven't seen it either. It's so, really old. Yeah. I, I have will some say. Some people that don't have anything, and then where I was like 0.25. Yeah. Some like, people don't get any symptoms. The yeah. only trend I've seen is GI symptoms will increase if they're eating bad. If they're eating poorly, like hyper processed, hyper palatable foods, their mm-hmm. their symptoms will increase. Anyway, go ahead. That was about all I had to say. Oh, now I want a story. Oh, I got oh, it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. If you do experience GI symptoms, we have uh, uh, the reboot bag. The IV bag that has Zofran in it. In so, or we can call it some Zofran. B12 mm-hmm. does help with that too. Yep. So, we have tools in our toolbox. That's why the good thing about coming to see us weekly, we can, you know, make you feel Yeah, we best. can really walk people through this process and, and really make it as comfortable as yeah. possible and help them get the results that they're looking for. Yeah. And they become family. I guess I know my <laughs> weekly people. Like, right. I get very <laughs> concerned when they don't come. Yep. So, all right, it's story time. I got I to gotta let you in on this. You're going to love this. I can't believe y'all kept this for me this long. This is good. So <laughs> this was a long time ago now. Um, before we ever started thinking about offering medical weight loss and rediscover aesthetics. And we had the the pen. The click, oh, click like pen. The, so, the which is yeah. pre-dosed. I, okay. I met our <laughs> local Ozempic rep. She's a gym. She's a patient. Yeah, I'd like the true Ozempic. A wonderful yeah. woman, right? <laughs> And we we got a couple of samples before things got crazy. Yeah, those were the good old days. Yeah, right. So <laughs> we're doing our thing, and uh, you know, Catherine had her mild symptoms, and I had no symptoms. But we're we're going about it. And I guess this was about eight or ten weeks in. Catherine was done, and she's been off the medicine for a couple of weeks, let's say, maybe three weeks. One day, she was like, "You know what? I I, I was off the wagon. I'm going to get back on it." I'm going to do my thing. I need a little booster. She <laughs> went to the refrigerator because the Ozempic had to mm-hmm. be kept in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Went to the fridge and grabbed it. And she she's like, you know, do, 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 do. I'm just going to twist the thing. Twist, 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 oh, twist. twist. This had a little, Ooh, like a, a twist clicking um, <laughs> Here's where education is, plays a huge part in this. And she was just like cranking it, cranking it, cranking it. Maxed it out. I didn't max it out. She would I just clicked till I saw the first number. Well, what she didn't realize was that this was the higher dose pen. It was a different concentration. It was Arden's concentration. So, <laughs> oh, Ozempic has two types of pens, right? <laughs> and the first one has the little clickers up to you know point two five or point five uh-huh. or whatever. Well, this one, I think the first one was you know one and a half or something. Yeah, because it was two dosage. What? Like yeah. So she five extra dose. Oh my god! I did not have a good time. And let me tell you, this woman, <laughs> it was like she was pregnant. And it was like morning sickness. <laughs> I, never I, felt that, over there. I never felt that bad being pregnant. Your girl lived. <laughs> Your girl's the example of why the we don't do this. Yeah. She was not happy. I was laying in the fetal position Christmas morning on the sofa. <laughs> Your girl was struggling. Struggle bus. Yeah. Not so, a good time. When we tell you <laughs> why we're we're monitoring your, <laughs> your dosage for the first uh, until we get to Man, trust you, get to you know you. We had IV therapy of that. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Look, I'd have been, I don't know. I would have gone to work and been like, "Help me!" Look, <laughs> she was scraping our bathroom like a crack addict, looking for looking for Zofran or looking for. But isn't that the worst when you don't something. have that available and you need yes. it? Like, right. Yeah. She looked like Dave Chappelle. Like, you got any oh, shush it. shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was struggling, man. Gosh. It was an amazing sight. I survived. Uh, barely. 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 <laughs> barely. But this is why people end up in really bad. Sur- I mean, yes. we're in joking. The ER. with- like, seriously. Yeah. Yes. I mean. Because they went from zero to 2.5 yeah. a week. And this is why, like yeah. I said, education, like, yes, we do have the, you know, 
or your ability to send it home with you now, luckily. Hi. You know, mm-hmm. but I would, I wouldn't even like, I'd be a minimum, like they have to see us for like three months or something before I, like I have to know that you're accountable. Yeah. You're not, you know, you're going to be, you're properly educated with it. And then mm-hmm. I trust you. We have that trusting relationship with it before I would even say, Hey, yeah, I feel comfortable with using it. Yeah. It's a case by case thing for me, but it, it, all the criteria that you just said, that's going through my mind. Yeah, and don't think that just because you increase your dose that you're going to lose more weight, too. I think that's another thing people think. Just like Botox, the more you get, the right. longer it lasts. Well, it's not like that for semaglutide. Kind of right. like Tylenol. The more you take, doesn't mean it's going to make your headache go away quicker. Might make your liver shut down, though. Mm, then you know the problem, but mm-hmm. yeah, then you turn to yellow. But here, yeah. Ugh, yeah, that's a whole other topic. Yeah, that's whatever. But, you know, what? you got some people that really do think that, so, yep. hey. What other myths do we need to dispel about this wonderful medication? I don't know. Where's my sheet? Well, let's I'm talk about. <laughs> I made this grand <laughs> sheet. Come on. Let's talk about the other benefits of semaglutide besides weight loss. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Recent studies have shown. Arden. I mean, talk you about the, the anti. Because you talk the best about it. Like the anti-inflammatory effects and how it's working on addiction and stuff like that. Well, I do know. Gut health. I, I really do think semiglutide can be used. Um, it can win a Nobel Prize, I think. Um, addiction centers are using semiglutide to help with smoking cessation and help with alcohol withdrawal symptoms. Um, and that goes back to talking about how it curbs the addictive nature of foods where you almost become apathetic to the foods that you're eating. Mm-hmm. So I tell folks, hey, you know, if there are foods that you know you should be eating but don't like it, well, now's the time because you're probably not going to really care about what you're eating um, in a good way, right? Yeah. Uh, some people really like the way they feel with that, and some people get a little weirded out with it. But to me, I find that it's incredibly beneficial when I'm not, especially if I'm stressed out or if I had a long day, like I'm not looking for an entire sleeve of Oreos or, um, mm-hmm. yeah. Ask Catherine about those mint mint Oreos that she has to hide from the kids. They found my spot. Did I'm they? I'm mad about that. Yes. Man. Man. New Both spot. of my spots. Well, that's a problem. It is a problem. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a new one. <laughs> Catherine used to hide <laughs> sweets around the house to make sure that the children didn't eat them. Because the children are, are they're savages. Yeah. Dude, my husband is sad. like literally. Yeah, I'm not hiding. Come on, I'm not hiding food because I have a problem. I'm hiding food so my kids don't eat them. It's like the label that sucker like infected with you know the flu or yeah. something, so that people don't touch it. Like yeah, um, nothing makes me matter when I want something so bad and then you can't have it when you get mm-hmm. home because someone ate it. It's oh, the that's worst. like that's like homicide. Like right there. Yeah. That's just yeah. Ooh, Mm-mm. that sends me over the top. Oh, you know what? I didn't really drink much alcohol when I was on some glutide. Right. Because you don't feel that urge to drink. No, I didn't really want to. What a shame. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't think about it at the time, but then afterwards they're like, did you drink on it? And I was like, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think I really did. Nope. I wonder if you, do you get drunker quicker? Like, you know, people well, like, wanna... oh, yes. <laughs> on semi-glutide? I've heard people yes. say that. Like that they can't. Elaborate. Because, well, like you're not, they get, you're not eating yeah. as much. They don't have that um, so yeah and cushion and I get drunk really fast on an empty stomach. We all know that. Oh, me so too. Ooh. When my stomach isn't full, watch out. That did happen to me. Is How many that times? Yeah, <laughs> we don't need to go into that either. <laughs> we won't go into that. <laughs> we'll leave that one alone. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now that you mention it, Catherine, yes, you are correct. Okay. Well, good. Well, I'm I'm glad we've talked about these things. Yeah. What else do y'all want to say about semiglutide before my IV runs out and I have to go to the bathroom? I'm winning, first of all. Yeah, you are. I told you I was the I think I was, I think I was winning the beginning, but where this thing is, I think I you know, clipped it off a few times. It's a new year. New you. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What? Hashtag new year, new you. Yeah. So come see us for your solution. Uh-huh. I like that one. <laughs> Not so your resolution, your right. solution. Come see us for your semiglutide weight loss consult. Start the new year off, right? Get a Franco's membership. And then keep or it just off. just come see us. I mean, hey. 
Right. I mean, make this the last New Year's resolution that you have to make regarding your weight. Yep. You know, because like we're not in it for a quick fix. We're in this to change habits. We're in this to change lives. We're going to motivate you through, support you through it. I mean, like we're your biggest fans, your coaches through it. I mean, yep. that's what I really love about our program is just like being able to, you know, see them weekly, come in, see the progress, um, get to know them on a personal basis. There's some pa- some of my patients, they're, they're, there's nothing that would surprise me that they tell me now. Like that's how close we've gotten. It's like a little right. therapy session. It's a therapy every session. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, whoop. TMI is out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know think of semi-glutide like as like family your little fluffy cloud right your little fluffy cloud it's carrying you from one place to another <laughs> but then we're going to prepare you to to step off the baby but, cloud and then too like like going back to our tools in our toolbox like if we're not getting the results that you want or we're not seeing you know you progress as we think you should we have we have options we have you know we offer the b12 but we also have like the mic injection now we can mm-hmm. swap out with um we're about to, hopefully, here soon, implement, go, f- you know, forward with our hormone therapy, and maybe we need to run a hormone panel on you and see if something else is underlying that we don't know why you're not losing weight. Is yep. it your thyroid? Is it your, you know, yep. all that plays into part. And um, I think that's where we're really good at, like, being comprehensive and thorough with our stuff is we're not just sending you home with it to say, hey, figure it out. See you in 12 weeks. No, we're literally there to get yeah, you to we're where you walk need you to be. This. And we're happy to be there, you know, through that journey. Yep. So. Well, thanks, ladies. Welcome. Thank you. Anytime. It's been a pleasure. Let's do this again sometime. Okay. All right. Until next time, folks. This is the Aesthetic Agenda. I'm Arden. I'm Amber. And I'm Catherine. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.